The best way to stay warm, of course, is to cozy up to the one you love. So here now, the tale of how one Vancouver-based rock star met the love of his life. Well, hello, my name is Apola Aquino. I'm a jazz dancer and an actress. And this here is Ian Asbury. And he's the rock star extraordinaire, singer of the cult. You got me. And so here we are at Cupcakes in Kitsilano, the most romantic spot. Mm. I love you. Can I just say for a couple weeks we were trying to refrain from this place and so we'd walk behind Ian with scouts like there's the devil shop. When I was a kid, cake was like something you got maybe once a week or maybe once a month. And it may have come out of a tin. Ian was performing here. My dad was promoting the show, so I got to be a little bit backstage and some interviews. I was meandering through my life, shall we say. In walked Ian, and he startled me with the way he was staring. Looks, well, I was wearing a, a leather skirt. Yeah, but look at him, left. You have to be blind to miss the leg. It'd definitely be uh, the Blue Hawaii. And the diva for you. He was like, Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Ian. And he said to my dad, Have you locked your daughter up yet? And he says, Um, no. Because she needs locking up. Yum, yum. <laughs> Give it here. Oh, bow. Oh. Wait for me. It's just absolutely smitten. Yes. That was it. And I was, um, been ruined for about the past year and a half. Decadent. He said, I, I'm in love with you. And I said, I know. I love you too. And he goes, well, why didn't you say so? And I said, because it's a man's job to say I love you first. No, yeah. I said, basically, I love you. I live in India. You're invited. And so three weeks later, he showed up in Bombay at the airport. And I was there to pick him up in my Indian clothes. And I was like, here we go, put him on the back of my scooter and raced off into the night. This is absolute death. This is where we come after a fight. So, we, so, so we try to fight often. <laughs> we just moved back to North America together. Yeah. He tricked me into leaving India and coming back. If you fancy yourself as a new modern slender person, forget about it. Don't even bother coming in. Just walk right by. But it's great for us normal folks that, you know, just don't care. This is the place we come for a six-pack. We get a six-pack and then we go home <laughs> <laughs> and watch the hockey. Um, yeah. But this is one of our favourite spots in Vancouver. Uh, the most exquisite cupcakes in the world. You know, we're very much in love and we're really happy. And um, really like being in Vancouver. It's, it's awesome.